I have some great activities for you for Valentine's theme for your toddlers and um, so pretty much your parent and toddlers and your preschoolers. These are really exciting games. Hi and welcome, I'm Helen Hughes from Mini Water Adventurers and I am your go-to person for swimming lesson ideas. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to have them all at once throughout the your, throughout the lesson but loads of different ideas that you can incorporate over the next couple of weeks if you're doing that for valentine's so um, i have used many different things over the years and i've designed something a little bit different again this year um, each year i just think of new things so i like to share them with you so first things uh, that uh, were really popular were these little teddy bears. Um, obviously with Valentine's, it tends to be about giving teddies, giving chocolates, giving flowers, um, and uh, you know, sort of a lot of love and stuff like that. So um, that's what these are gonna be based on. So teddy bears, and they have these little hearts here. So rather than just using um, pom-poms like I normally do, which is a, a, a great uh, tool to have, to use as part of loose part play. Um, and they, instead of the pom-poms, I've actually used these hearts. Um, I actually bought like a massive pack of uh, heart stickers. In fact, I think there are stars in there as well, but I used all the hearts part of it. So I basically used two and put them together and some of them I didn't have all the same colours so I backed them up so they could choose maybe they wanted to have red with the red teddy bear um, or they could have it contrasting of where they turned it over. So basically they have a choice, maybe you already give these, uh, they choose their teddy bears and that's their area that they're going to use to go swim down and bring all their different things and come back because it's actually a really nice way of uh, helping with the parents as well. But then also with the preschoolers, if they're very busy, which most of them are, it gives them that focus and that point of where to come back to. So if they're swimming off and going and get something, then you can say to them, you're going to bring it back now to your teddy bear. So you can already give them to them or they can swim down and go and collect which teddy bear that they're wanting to, to, to play with that day. Um, depending on how many swimmers that you have, maybe you want to do just one colour, maybe you just choose to do red, pink and white, for instance, or maybe you do want to do different colours. So uh, again, that's your choice, depending obviously how you want to do things. So they have their teddy bear and they, you've also got your heart. So your hearts are separate. Um, you can put them in a little container. You can use trusty buckets or you can have little bowls. So if you watch my equipment list video, uh, that will help you with regards to what sort of things to use as containers to put things, put your little items in as uh, I love doing loose part play. I think it's great for this age group because uh, they just learn so much and they are so excited when they have all these little things um, and they love you know placing things collecting things going and getting and then uh, you know things like that so it works really well on land for children for in the early years but we can actually uh, uh, do that within the swimming environment and water as well and um, obviously if we use certain things that uh, are fine with water so those are you can always add in you know maybe you've got hearts with numbers on the back that you've written on or maybe you have bath toys that you've got you know bath numbers that you've got or maybe you, again you can add on the back of hearts that they choose um, you can obviously put it in front of them like this um, and then they pick which one they want and then that's got the number that they're going to go and get of hearts um, you need to make sure that you have the right amount. So don't write five on there if you don't have enough for everybody to get five. <laughs> Obviously that down to using common sense on that part. Uh, or they can go and get the colour corresponding. So they might not actually 
have their own teddy bears but you have these placed out on a number of different areas depending on your pool space and that they do go and collect the red hearts the red teddy bear or they do go and get the gold for the orange and so forth and they come and color coordinate it that way so you know even there there's there's three or four different games that you can play even just using the teddy bears alone if you're not quite sure about teddy bears or you want to do something maybe a bit different, I've also used these love monsters that I've used as a monster mayhem type of um, theme before. And I thought, well, why not bring those out maybe? And you can give them a choice if they want to do a teddy bear or um, you can have these as their monsters, love monsters. Obviously they're nice monsters. Um, and again, you can do the similar sort of activity of where you've got the hearts corresponding to their colors um, and so forth like that for the monsters. Another way that you can do it is uh, ladybugs. For some, instance, some, uh, for some reason, I always think of ladybugs with regards to uh, Valentine sort of love. I've used these um, in previous themes of springtime. I do a whole lesson on ladybugs. So I thought, okay, I might choose to do that. And then you can use again, the hearts that you've chosen before, or you can have, you know, smaller ones where they could be inside, um, you know, they could be inside eggs, for instance, of where uh, they're inside and they have to blow bubbles in order to open up and then they can place the, the hearts on the ladybugs. You could do numbers again. Uh, you can incorporate, you know, those different things. Uh, you can do black hearts if you want to as spots. And you can also use the craft foam that is sparkly, uh, self-adhesive. So you can always uh, place two on the back of each other so that or you can place that on the back of it or whatever you want to do so it's a little bit shinier a little bit cool um, and again the children love that talking about ladybugs uh i've had these for years and the children absolutely love them and i think wow what a cool thing uh, uh, that i found but these are actually toothbrush holders um, and they're ladybugs and they can they do come in loads of different uh, animals or insects you've got bumblebees you've got frogs uh, and different things and, and they're just something again that's a little bit different so instead of placing something that's flat you can do something that's a little bit more sort of uh, 3d and and they can touch it they can take it apart but they can post things so thinking about schematic play some children are in a posting schema so they can then go and collect and they can post or they can have their ladybirds uh, bugs with them and take them with them. You can have hearts, you know, located all around the out, the on top of the water and they can go and collect and see how many hearts that they can collect in their little lady bug. Um, or the other thing is, is while using this type of thing of posting, you can use these or similar to with your buckets, but you've also then got um, love letters um, and these love letters have used a similar, so I do have another video for the higher stages or the higher abilities. It can be adapted um, where we use love letters as part of the tag game. Um, so you could do a similar concept here of where you um, make these out of craft foam, very simple. I cut these up and then on the back, I've actually put on, you know, a certain skill outcome that they are working on in that group. So for parent and toddlers, you've got the We Do Some England and you've got the I Can Awards. So I've written on the back of these the different award, you know, the different outcomes for that particular uh, age group. So here, for instance, is a jump in. So they, you can either have them already in a bucket um, or you can have them in like I've showed before um, in like a wash bag or something, or you can have them like this and then they, they choose one. So have two or three like this and then they pick um, or you can hand them to them or you can have them out on the side and they go and choose it. Uh, and then they actually perform the skill. So if they can show me enter the water safely, then they're going to then go and post that letter. So either they can have their ladybugs on the side and post the letter, or this is a post box today, this red bucket, they can go and post their letter because they've done it and that they can then come back and do a different activity. So make sure you have enough 
Um, again, this was a half a sheet of A4, and then I've got, you know, uh, six there already to, to, to use. Another way of doing like a little bit of a, an envelope <laughs> um, is using these tabs here, these Velcro tabs of where you could have the letters separate to the activity card and you could have the activity on the back or on the front of this and once they complete it this can be somewhere else and then they go and place it on you can have these on the wall and they could swim and then attach it and it's great for the younger ones because you know again it's another learning opportunity for them so you can add those in uh, the heart again here is um you know velcro on there so you can always use a little concept like that which works really well and um, like I said, the children really gravitate to enjoying things like that. So what else do I have? So we talk about, uh, let's stick with the craft foam for the, for, for the minute, but I've also cut out a tree, but you can have, um, in my new book, you actually get a resource pack of where there are laminated, there's, there's trees, a template of trees of where you can print and laminate. You could use those for instance, uh, and you have these on the sides and then you could use these hearts that again it could be wherever you want to place them i've done multiple workshops about where to where you can use make sure that you use the space of your pool space effectively um so they can go and collect hearts and then they can place it on their love tree of where you know they form they can do it as a group or they can do it individually so depending if you will maybe want to laminate a number of different trees and that they collect their own hearts so make sure you have enough and they probably need slightly bigger than these ones because or, or you could use those i suppose um if you don't want to be cutting up too many hearts for instance and we'll put the tree to the side also what you could do is form like a little caterpillar love caterpillar of where again they're doing it maybe as a group or um, individual of where they go and collect and then what you could do is you could have little antennae or something cut up and where I've got here like some little antennae here um, of where you're then putting the or legs or what have you if you're wanting to add those in at the end of where they're forming their little caterpillars but again you know just doing something very simple like this is actually very cute as well and maybe you can do a black heart that's the head for instance um, and then they form the rest of the body out of those hearts Sticking with the craft foam theme, <laughs> if you received my newsletter, um, then you would have seen how you can make these really simple, effective. You can use these multiple times throughout the year for different themes of these sweets. I've used these so many times and the children really gravitate towards these. Sometimes I'll have, you know, almost like three or four different choices and the children will always gravitate towards these sweets. So highly recommend them. They've lasted, I've probably had these since 2019. So they've lasted a really, actually not 2019, 2020, I think I did these. Um, anyway, a good couple of years they've lasted. As long as you get a really good glue gun, uh, then you know that they are very secure. I have a tutorial from my newsletter. So if you don't have my newsletters or you're not getting them, make sure you uh, go to the Facebook page of Swim Education and then you'll be able to fill in your email address to get your free newsletters. Um, and it has a tutorial on there with how to make these. Um, you can make these on their own. You can make thicker ones and you can make uh, larger ones. Um, but the, I tend to find that this size works really nicely. You can also attach them to straws, which I have found is a really great way for children that are really, really quite struggling with the fact that they don't want to be putting their faces down in the water yet, not even their mouths. So this really gives something for them to focus on when they're learning to do their bubbles and blowing. Um, it's up to you if you choose to give these to the toddlers. They tend to uh, think, oh, yay, straw, I've been told to suck. Uh, suck the water up or suck whatever's in it as, as a, like a drink. So it's just teaching them that they're, they're blowing massive bubbles, as big bubbles as they can. Once they start noticing that they can see all their bubbles, they tend to get excited and understand what they have to do. 
So again, please use your common sense with regards to that. These are just re reusable straws that I have glued on. And again, this has been, these are been going for years. So, you know, obviously ask your parents just to kindly, you know, respect what you have made. Um, but they are also, I know it's your time, but they've, they're quite an inexpensive way of having, you know, these props of where they work really well for the children. <clears throat> and it gives them and it helps you to try uh, using, ta ta you know, certain tactics and distraction techniques to help those two children that are struggling with certain skills that you're uh, helping them go through. Talking about sort of bubbles and things like that, I've got these gold eggs. You could do colourful eggs. You know, again, it, it's uh, um, in my equipment video. Eggs are one of those that are on the list to, to get. Um, inside here, I have put little candies. Um, please use your common sense. You're not going to use these with the real younger ones. Yes, choking hazard. So common sense is always key. Um, but, you know, these little things, you know, preschoolers can use these type of things, you know, as long as you explain to them that they are not going, or please don't say nowhere near your mouth, um, but use terminology such that they know, like, hold it really tight so that they're holding it as opposed to them focusing on wanting to put it in their mouths. And you're right there. And if you've got the parents that are there as well, that, they, you know, it, it's down to them to make sure that they're looking after their own children too. But like I said, a little bit of the older ones, preschoolers and up for these. These are great for the older ones. They love diving down and getting and finding candy. <laughs> um, so you can get those in massive bags of different sweets. Uh, these are actually used for like slime and Play-Doh kits that I found that work really well. So I basically put those in there and that they can uh, magic bubbles to open up or you can throw them out, they go find them so forth. Um, Valentine chocolate, um, I've had these in the pretend play. Uh, um, again, I've used these for years. So once you get them, something that you can reuse, they can go and choose uh, different types of chocolates or they can go and find sweeties and things like that. Or you can always have them making sweets. So you've got these cupcake holders, uh, silicone cupcake holders, ping pong balls, and you can have different colours. For instance, you can have these out in the water and do some type of, uh, you know, uh, go and get game type of thing of where adding in bubbles or they have to move it with their hands, move it with their nose and so forth. So these cupcakes are great because they're easy for them too, so they don't roll it away. So that's that. And I've just got a couple more here, is uh, roses, any type of artificial flowers. Uh, um, these are extremely popular and it's another great way of getting them on their backs. For instance, they swim with them, they place them on their noodles with their connectors, they swim around with them, they can make shapes in the water with them, they can pretend to smell them and so forth. And I've got these vases that are plastic, and they're flat, so great for storage. And then you can fill them up with water and that they sit on the sides. So they, they can fill the water themselves. They can pour, they can use buckets, they can put sprinkle toys. You can have them put the roses in and then they pour. They can then be part of the rose. You can pour water over them, so you're watering the rose and they can take their vases with them or things like that. Uh, and, and that's a really nice activity to do as well with some type of artificial flowers it could be like these are really quite old now and um, but i've got some where the heads have fallen off so you could just use the heads um and 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 then do a similar concept thing with that where you just you know bring little bowls or something for them to to go and collect the heads for for that so the last thing are adding sinkables i absolutely love uh, you'll know from my other videos, I love a silicone toy. Um, I personally don't really use too many traditional dive toys anymore. Um, and these silicone uh, stackers are amazing. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive, but I wouldn't say any more expensive than any other type of traditional sinkers. So these are obviously apt for this occasion. They sink well, they look good, uh, and the children get excited when these come out. 
Uh, you can have them, um, you know, choose and then they have to stack them. They have to go down and get them and then stack them so forth. You can hide them like I've hid them on stairs and then they have to go and find where they are. Um, and those are very popular as well. So those are the different activities, loads there for you to do. You could probably do that for, you know, the next couple of years. Uh, let me know how it goes. Other ideas that you may have yourself, please comment below. And also, if you do do these activities, please comment below and let me know how it goes. Uh, enjoy this theme and um, see you soon. Bye.